Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm really excited to finally show the flip through of my journal for Chrissy. It's in response to this um, beautiful journal that she surprised me with. Um, well, her and Poopsie surprised me with. Poopsie, if anyone doesn't know, is this um, sort of unicorn type thing, pink horse thing that uh, Chrissy picked up for me from the up shop and shoved in my package with this. So I assume that is a photo of Poopsie. <laughs> Poopsie likes to make a big mess of really bright colourful stuff everywhere so um, we always joke because Chrissy loves all these bright colours and that and I don't. Um, I call it unicorn poop so that's where the joke sort of started and ever since then we um, yeah, tease each other about it all the time and then she sends me this journal and Poopsie. So Poopsie's been making a big mess at my place now and this is what Poopsie has done. Oh my goodness. So, I found a hair braid uh, headpiece um, in the cheap shop store. Can't even speak. For a couple of dollars. So I grabbed it because it had this beautiful organza material. And it had the three colours braided. It had white and blue and pink. And there was actually a fair bit in it. So I took that apart. So I've got the other pieces to use for something else. So I've used that as a tie. So I'll just untie that. Now I've got some Suffolk Puffs or yo-yos. Um, these are ones that the wonderful Kerry Sawyer gifted me. Uh, lovely. I was going to put a button or something in the middle, but I actually really love the way they look. So, and I've just put a bit of fabric that I've creased up a bit to add some texture. Beautiful dangle. I think I showed myself making that dangle. Um, but I did it on a paper clip. Well, I've changed it over to a nice bulb pin there. And I love the way that looks. So, and then I've just got a couple of scrappy ruffles. They were the ends of ruffles that I had cut off. So I just used them, put them down there. And I've got this little sticker thing saying, let the party begin. Um, that's easy to take off if she doesn't like it. I thought I won't stick it on permanently. Um, just in case she doesn't like it there. I've put a bit of lace on the... Uh, spine and it's just covered in this beautiful fabric that I got either I think I got it from the remnant spin at spotlight or the secondhand store so it's four signatures I don't know what size it is I don't bother measuring unless I'm going to sell it I suppose so um, you know it looks like it's about two inches maybe one and three quarter inches wide um, it fits A4 size papers that sort of gives you an idea of the size of it. Now I've got this clip here and that's holding in this. This is the front page off of a book that I grabbed from the second hand store. I can't remember whether that was a recipe book or something. Um, but I love how it says glitter is my favourite colour and it's got the rainbow and the pink. It really fits in with the theme for this journal. So I've clipped that in as a writing board because it's really nice and sturdy. So I'll just take that out. So yeah, that's just a real plain writing board that she can stick behind the pages if she wants to write in it. And it also hides this. This is in response to her first picture. So this was my mum found in the second hand shop a whole lot of these pictures that were, I think they were for foil art. So they had the picture stuck onto some sticky backing and then they had these bits that had crosses on them that you'd remove and I think you'd stick your foil in those pieces. So I removed the picture from the sticky backing and I stuck it down but I just changed where things were because the rainbow wasn't coming out of the unicorn's butt in the actual picture. Now I did do a video just previous to this one showing all the bits and pieces I used for this so you'll see what the picture was like before I did this to it. <laughs> um, but anyway so I did that and to cover up the uh, crosses I just stuck some bling. So that turned out pretty cool, actually. And I love the Yahoo. So, uh, yeah, and then I um, printed out just a couple of unicorn pictures um, that have little sayings on them and found some nice papers. So this is a altered bag that I did with just a bit of napkin, textured napkin, and a little ticket. And um, this is Big Tag that I think Mary gifted me that. And I had all these sticky notes and I just stuck some sticky notes on there that she can use. And I've had this ever since I started journaling. It's a um, decoupard, napkin decoupage tag that's been embossed and inked up. 
so that just slips in the bag then behind the bag it's a tuck spot where I've just stuck a little journaling card if I can stick it back in there whoops get it behind will be good just move this out of the way because it keeps catching on my arm and then I've put another cocky napkin there so these are my acrylic dyed papers. I've got pink and purple papers. I thought I'd make it as bright and ghastly as possible for her so it blinds her. So I've just put some nice like, self-affirming sayings and quotes in that and lots and lots of recipe cards. So the theme for this, it's pink, purple, unicorn, um, but it's meant to be used as a recipe journal. So I thought I might as well, or else it would just be so kid-like, which it is, but make it useful. So I love this. That's actually the base of a patty pan that I picked up that had unicorns. I've got them just here. These were in the cheap shop, really cheap as well. So I grabbed those. So I just cut that out and it fit perfectly in that um, die cut piece that I had. I also managed to make a few paper clips with these little toppers. So I just pulled the little sticks out and shoved paper clips in them and made a few paper clips with those which was cool as well and I got heaps, they were really cheap in the cheap shop and I can make a few unicorn journals with those. Just a bit more of the patty pan and I'm saying this is the front of a $1 cheap card from the cheap shop. So I purchased a few things because I didn't have many um, unicorn things. So I had these, I think these are Jamie Oliver recipe cards nice big ones so I stick that in behind there I can get it in now this is the first one of those paper clips that I made from the nice cloud and that holds this on which is a pocket that I've made out of the recipe so you've got the picture there and then you've got the um, recipe on the back and then in that I've got a vintage recipe card of funny face cakes. I tried to make it a bit funny. <laughs> we were joking, my daughter was joking with me about putting all recipes in there that looked like they could be unicorn peas. <laughs> we sort of kept it bright and within the colour theme. And then I have a few recipe um, books that um, I grabbed to pull the sheets out of for recipe journals. Sometimes they come in the shop and they're getting ditched, so um, I'll always grab them. So that just holds that on. And I had a whole lot of planner stickers, which I don't use really. Not a lot of them, so I thought I'd just like use them all in this. I used exercise book pages from my kids' old exercise books. I thought that would be really cool to write recipes on. Now that's a stamp of um, dictionary meanings. I think it's Kaiser Craft. And I've also stamped the lolly and then coloured it in with my gel pen. So that turned out quite nice actually. That also was a, that might have been the um, pages that come from this book. So with the unicorns on top. So I've used that paper a lot and I put the pages together with a paper hinge. So that's a glassine bag um, and I've just used, that's a picture out of one of my recipe books which I really love, all the sprinkles and that and just back that with some of the paper so it can be written on. I like that, I have serious issues. So, and just stuck a little crochet flower in the saying there. And that's another one of the stamps that I coloured in with the gel pens. Now this, there will be a tutorial on this as well. Um, it's the other side of one of the cards that I grabbed and I used the front of the card and I just had this bit where it says hope your fifth birthday is as special as you are. So I didn't want to waste that part so I thought I would, um, I followed a tutorial by Wendy Mason which I'll link below on how she does the mask, masks and then does the inking of the background and it's really effective and I just love the way it's brightened that up. Then I just drew a border around and stamped a cake and this thinking of you and then I added for this year so it says hope your fifth birthday for this year is as special as you are because Chrissy likes to joke that it's her birthday all the time trying to get extra racks out of us and stuff she's only joking it's quite funny anyone that's on the um 
groups that we're in will see this happen so <laughs> I thought <laughs> I'll add that there just a teaser about that and then this has extra birthday it's a coupon for an extra birthday so I thought that was fitting and I just um, punched a tab for it so that slips in there so I've tried to make it a bit humorous give her a few surprises uh, doily tuck with a little I had some contact that Marlene gave me and I've got a, that little tiny unicorn punch so I punched some bits out of the contact it's really nice the way that's worked out and just some of the scrap paper that I used and I had some wrapping paper just a little piece that had these beautiful flamingos in ice cream cones so but I'll add that um, I've done iced fairy cakes that just slips in there so there's a lot of room here to fit recipe cards um, and recipe notes and all that sort of thing and then I've left a lot of pages blank as well as a lot of lined pages so lots of room for recipes so I'm hoping that um, she'll be able to use it I've done a ruffle I only did one I'm a bit eclectic like that most people sort of run the theme through and do ruffles all the way through but she's just got that one and then the few little ones on the front Oops, there's a lined page there as well and then I've done this envelope which is stuck down so that's got um, I think I showed the beautiful front of the card this was on the back of the card so I was able to cut that out and use it and put it on some cotton material and it's on an acrylic dyed envelope and then in there I have a recipe card for chocolate cupcakes just put it in with some washi as well to make it stay I like to glue it down then use a bit of washi decorate it with some washi there then this is a bit more of the page from the recipe book that I've made into a little recipe card. So that's just the off cut from the exercise book that I used just so I didn't waste it. Um, just a little pocket I've made and this is a tuck down there as well for some little bits so you could put two recipe cards in it. And I had um, a set that had pink recipe cards and purplish ones, which was perfect. So they're throughout this journal as well. Then I found some in the cheap shop. There were invitation sets, but that was a beautiful card for the invitation set. So I've just used the front of it to make a tuck there. And then there's the envelope for it. And I've stuck some napkin in the little window there and then a little saying there. That turned out nice and then inside is some of this it's like a kawaii diary that I found it has these cupcake faces so I thought that would go nice in here as well I've been collecting this stuff over the past year for a pink and purple recipe journal that I was going to do sometime and finally it's sort of come to fruition so that just slips in there nicely and the first signature, second signature, I think I've got this piece from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft which worked out perfect because I've got it just before and it has donuts and unicorns so and that was the front of the card that was the fifth birthday card so I've just cut that down to get rid of the happy fifth birthday bit and use that as a little pocket another recipe card and then I've done a bit of stamping here and also I've used, I think I've only used two of these. I was going to do a waterfall of them, but I thought no, because that's what the actual photo albums are like and I don't, didn't need that many. But it turned out to be a really good idea. So these are your slips that you get in your waterfall photo albums. And if you lift them up, you can pull them out real neat and careful and they come out very easy. So I was able to glue this down at the top and then I just stuck washi tape over there. And I've just slipped in a bit of the exercise book off cut and stamped it. And have got one on each side so that gives a lot of room for writing a few recipes and you can write underneath as well just some washi uh, I've got a naughty book that has naughty sayings about women and chocolate and stuff so I thought I'd add that for a laugh because you would be flipping the pages it's so childlike you would not expect that so I hope I'm not offending anyone with that but sometimes it's nice to have a bit of laugh and not take life too seriously and that's what this journal's all about. So I said I don't tend to stick to just the one thing <laughs> with the things I do. I like to try a whole lot of different stuff. Um, yeah, so I found a kawaii sort of cake making book which was really cool and it had these um, fluffy vanilla cakes and 
you know, the icing looks like unicorn poop. Very colourful. So, so I've made that a top flip and you can uh, write recipes on the back. And then this is the ingredients as a belly band. And then there's the method. And then you can also write on the back of that. A doily. Um, that was in the book with the fluffy vanilla cake, but it sort of looks like a poop. So I thought that was fitting. So I've used that as a little tuck and it holds a little recipe card. And a stamped donut. That's some fabric I have with cupcake. Found some vellum that I love with the daisies. Pick it up in case you can't quite see. But that looks nice up against the purple page. It's a tag that I've stuck in as a tuck spot with another one of my contact unicorn punched out. And this was just a journaling card that I had. And I did a little cupcake stamp which I coloured again. This is just a die cut scallop circle with a bit of your cupcake wrapper and some fabrics and it just says count the memories not the calories which I love. Just an off cut of the unicorn paper. Slip that under there. And then I've done a bit of a belly band with this lovely ribbon that I found. That would have been in the second hand shop too and it's got some more of that kawaii um, diary paper or whatever. And the belly band's a bit flimsy really, so it's good to um, paper clip into the, that one. I found this beautiful teddy bear paper which has pink and purple notes and I know that Chrissy likes teddy bears. I um, just stenciled with the punched out bits of the unicorn the negatives and did some purple and pink there just so it wasn't so white. It says eat cake for breakfast used off cut to make a little tuck and I've stuck a couple of sheets in here of this um, recipe book so she'll be able to take them out and um, use them where she likes. The other side of the vellum. Now this is um, an off cut of my paper. It's got a little tag on there. That's a little tuck there as well. A little bit of ruffle and lace and then that lifts up and it says you are a treasure. So that can have a recipe in it and the recipe card can fit there. Then this is, uh, it says you've got this girl and it's just a little washi tape tag that slips in there. It can be used as a label or something. Stay there. And that's a Rita Donnelly flip I think they call them. The little star sticker and your recipe card and some more of the beautiful ribbon. That's just another piece of beautiful washi tape. I've just stuck that on some of the plain pages. I wanted to leave a lot of plain pages so she can fill it up with recipes. But it looks a bit plain so I stuck some washi on as well as the planner stickers. Beautiful doggy stamp up there. Love that stamp. And then this just flips open like that to be written on. It's just got some more of the beautiful contact that Marlene gave me and some cheesecloth and the contact unicorn and a bit of the leftover fabric. So this is a CD envelope and I've just napkined around it and stuck some washi tape, napkined the back of it. I won't take it out. Um, it's up to Chrissy if she wants to take it out or not. I'd probably leave it there. It says, you're so awesome you poop rainbows. Then I've used the top bit of the um, CD envelope to make a little tuck for a chocolate cheesecake recipe. Then we've got, is this the last one? Second to last signature. I'm special. She Every time she does put something up and I say that's beautiful or that's awesome or that's really cool, she'll say I know I am or whatever. So I thought I'd better put lots of I'm specials in there to stroke her ego. Um, that's another reason I put this in as well. It's a picture of a queen or a princess and there's a voucher for a princess for a day so she can redeem it to be treated by a queen or a king for an entire day. I don't know who's going to do it because I live too far away so no, nah, nah. <laughs> um, says I feel there is nothing more artistic than loving people which I'm definitely finding at the moment. Okay, there's another one of my photo album flips. This one's a flip down with the two pieces in there that are stamped that she can write on. Just 
just a lace pocket with a crowdy it looks a bit like yen corn boot that does <laughs> crowdy recipe that's a vintage one <laughs> although it sort of makes me want to try it i think it's oatmeal and cream and raspberries and stuff so um yeah a silly immature picture too much of a good thing is wonderful. They're napkins that I found recently and I thought, yep, yeah, I've got to buy those. So, a um, bit of the leftover material with a profiterole recipe, altered bag with napkin, some more of the material, um, and just lace and bling. And in there, what did I put? Oh, a whole lot of my labels that I've made. Just thought I'd ask add a few extra bits and pieces because I didn't really have much more unicorn stuff so I just filled it up with some bits and pieces for her to use. Some washi stickers. That's an um, envelope that I've used uh, and I've just backed it with some paper to write recipes on. There's a blank page. I don't believe I didn't put a sticker on it. Oh well. Um, Kawaii penguin cake. She likes penguins so I had to put that in as the centerpiece. Uh, Christmas penguin cake it is so I've just put the recipe in this side and I think I yep back that as a journaling spot as well as the um, ingredients in that side and there's the other side of the envelope unicorns are awesome I am awesome therefore I am a unicorn thought that will suit her and in here I've stuck a whole lot of tickets for her to have fun with um, another recipe card there's a, another one of the napkins that I found that says lead me not into temptation. I can find the way myself. That come out of the Kawaii cake book as well, the little penguin. So I stuck that there as a tuck spot with some more recipe book. Uh, altered envelope with napkin washi. Bit of bling. And in there I have stuck a tag that has a unicorn in some washi a unicorn eating a donut actually how fitting is that for the book this was so much fun to make and find bits for I'm not used to doing things this bright and that so it was good fun made a bit of a scrappy with leftover bits I think you can see that yep just another I did a lot of these sort of um, tuck spots just for the recipe cards and you can like fold up a recipe page from a magazine and fit it in there and that as well so this is just a teddy bear purple teddy bear flash card these came out of the um, book that I was cutting pictures out of and I really like these to stick on for titles but I didn't want to stick them on the signatures for the titles in case she wants to make it her own so I thought I'd just put them in there and that'll give her something that she can do if she likes. She might decide she doesn't even want to use it as a recipe journal that's completely up to her. She could take the recipe cards out and make another journal with them or something if she likes. So... Uh, another one of the funny sayings, that one's not too bad. I didn't claw my way to the top of the food chain to eat vegetables. thought that was quite fitting for this sort of journal. Um, another one of me altered paper bags. That's a little tuck that's just got that little tag in it. And I've just stuck some of this yellow lace in there. And another journaling card that I made. This was the front page of one of my books just stuck some scrap on there so it wasn't so white and inked it up a bit so yes she I noticed once or twice that she's posted that she's stolen her brother's donuts it's another reason for this journal is to give her donut recipes so she doesn't have to pinch her brothers anymore so she's got cookies and cream donuts there and then that's the um, method of making it in there and then there's a pocket on the other side there's crispy American donuts and this is just the back of the an envelope and I've just stuck the ice cream on there and I've just um, put a pin on that one so we'll take that off so there's the envelope there that I've altered I'll have to stick that down a bit better at the bottom and napkin it and I thought I'd put something in there but I haven't so I might have to look into doing that either that or I'll just take this and put it in there yeah, it will fit. So I'll remember to do that afterwards. 
All right. It's always you think you've finished and then you'll find something. There's just a flip up of some fabric I had. Another one of my paper clips with the unicorn. So take that off. Uh, it's another one of my recipe um, pockets that I made with the picture of the donor and then at the back it's got the recipe. Just thinking it doesn't look like it. Oh, I've put the name up there. It's Smalls Donuts. I was going to say it doesn't have the name on it. And then in here you've got ingredients and method pictures. So that just sits there. So you can write behind that one as well. And that holds it in like that. So a little doggy flashcard. I know she loves her dogs. And then this is the back and it just says create your own happy. I've stamped that. It's got a little felt embellishment, an off cut of the um, whatever that stuff is, contact. And then I've made a bag out of some unicorn wrapping paper. And in that I have just stuck a whole lot of recipe cards for her to use if she likes. Slip that in gently. Alright, so I'll just fix the envelope up. And then this is going in the post in about an hour, so she shall get it soon and then I'll be able to show everyone. So thanks for watching guys and take care. See you later.